Thank you. Our next witness is Mr. Michael McGann. He's the Senior Vice President and Chief Lending Officer of Country Club Bank in Kansas City, Missouri. Country Club Bank was founded in 1953 and is based in Shawnee Mission, Kansas. Mr. McGann is testifying on behalf of the American Bankers Association, founded in 1875. The ABA brings together banks of all sizes and charters into one association. Welcome. Thank you, Chair Chairwoman Velasquez. Thank you. Ranking Member Graves and members of the committee, my name is Michael McGannon, Senior Vice President and Chief Lending Officer of Country Club Bank in Kansas City, Missouri. Country Club Bank is a family-owned community bank with over $650 million in assets. The focus of this committee is extremely important. Consistently, small businesses are drivers of new ideas, new employment, and new economic growth. For banks like mine, small businesses are our bread and butter. While some, might think the, while some might think the banking industry is composed of only large global banks, the vast majority of banks in our country are community banks, small businesses in their own right. In fact, over 3,400 banks, 41 percent, have fewer than 30 employees. The topic of SBA lending for small businesses is especially important and timely. The efforts that have been made by this committee, the Congress as a whole, and the administration to improve the environment and opportunities for small businesses through changes to the SBA program have been needed for many years. These changes are particularly important in the difficult economic conditions which are affecting all businesses, including banks. The SBA program has struggled over the last several years. SBA fiscal year 2008 loan volume figures showed a 30% decline year over year in the 7A loan guarantee program, and fiscal year 2009 figures would indicate a similar reduction in volume. The economy is certainly playing a significant role in overall loan volume decline. However, many lenders are concerned that this decline is also due to SBA programs becoming too costly and difficult for lenders and small businesses who wish to access the program. For this reason, we recommend the following changes to the SBA program. First, SBA should work with trade associations like ABA to formulate SBA programs that are attractive to lenders of all sizes and especially to community bankers. Most small community banks are intimidated by the amount of paperwork required for a regular SBA 7A loan. In the past, the SBA had a product in which there was a two-page application for the bank to complete and had an 80 percent guarantee. This program has been eliminated. Furthermore, the SBA needs to eliminate the financial and human resource burden on community banks created by SBA audits, particularly a concern with several new programs coming online this year. These audits review loans already on the books that are already being scrutinized by other federal, re federal regulators, such as the FDIC or the OCC. Worse, banks are required to pay for their own SBA audit, even though it does nothing to correct or stabilize a loan or to assist if there is the need for a liquidation. Second, SBA should reduce the time it takes for participating banks to collect on loan guarantees. In our own experience, we have been fortunate to collect on all guarantees submitted. However, the time frame for these collections is sporadic. There is a near universal agreement in the lending community that efforts to collect on the loan guarantee from SBA can be a time-consuming and costly process. Third, community banks need personal contacts with knowledgeable people who can answer our questions. Our bank has had the benefit of a very cooperative SBA office in Kansas City. This relationship has been vital in making sure we stay on track with new changes in SBA regulations. However, banks in outlying areas do not have the benefit of a local SBA office that understands them, their clients, or their town. Instead, they have to contact someone at a 1-800 number and get answers to questions. As a community banker from Missouri, I take pride in knowing the business and the community that an entrepreneur is trying to serve. 
It is critical that SBA returns to a model of helping local small businesses and banks through off-site training programs that can tend to the needs of the lending partnership. Thank you for your time and attention today.